All right. Hello. Happy Father's Day. Today is June 16th, 2019, and it has been a while. I'm sorry the camera's shaking. My bad. I did that. That was me. That was me. That was me, guys. Sorry. Still happening. I'm twisting some stuff. Okay. <laughs> ah, so I was, uh, my, my, oh, let's start over, Melissa. All right. Welcome to Color All the Things with me, Melissa. Um, <laughs> it's been a while. My husband's out on a Father's Day bike ride, and so I was going to stream, but then I saw there were at least two people I subscribe to that are streaming currently, so I was like, whatever, I'll just record. It's fine. No biggie. Um, you see the book? The book? The book? The book? The book? The book? Um, so I've got a few things that I've bought recently and, and or received from a lovely friend. Uh, I was going to show those to you real quick and then we'll get on with the coloring. So I want to say real quick that this book, this, this particular iteration of um, my Johanna Basford Ivy and the Inky Butterfly is going to be Studler products only. Uh, I started here. I have the Studler Ergosofts. The background is the Ergosoft watercolor, which I'll show you. And then I've, I've started on from the inside. I've started on here. Uh, this book I will not be doing. I will be doing cover to cover, as you see, but I will not be doing it in order. Um, I did this while my mom, my mom just left today. Sad tears, happy tears, whatever. Um, she just left today, so uh, I did this while my mom was here. Uh, but I, I just, I want to skip around in this book um, because I'm only using one pencil. Uh, it's easy. There's only 36 colors. Uh, I was using the black. I didn't put my black away. So I got these at Target on clearance for, I don't think you can see that. And my Zoom isn't working very well. For $7.48 at Target on clearance for $36, which I thought was a lovely deal. And they turned out to be very nice water-based uh, markers. And they do very well mixing as long as you do it kind of wet into wet. Um, one second, let me show you guys. I should have had this ready, but I didn't. Um, so in the world of flowers, I chose this page to test them out on. Um, and if you guys can see, I did at least two colors per flower leaf or leaf. Um, and it worked out very well. Let me see if I can bring that up. Oops, I hit it. Yeah, I don't know why my, the, the program that I use for my Zoom was interacting with the program that I use to record, and so I'll have to figure something else out. Um, but, I did this, I sat down, it took maybe two days, it was very quick, very fun, so I would put down the lightest color, and then I would go in with the darker shade a little bit, and then I would go back over with the lightest color, so it gave it, because w when you, when you layer it adds an, another shade to it. So I ended up with three shades. I had the dark and the light, the dark, and the mid when you did your second go over with the light color, which ended up working out very well. But as you can see, no bleed through, nothing like that. Very nice. Um, and I, I just thought they were very pretty. And it worked out very well on this very busy, patterny page. I, I, I like it, and this was this was one of those days where I just needed to freaking color. I just needed to color. I needed to not think about coloring, and I needed to just do it. And so that's what I did. Um, I had bought these Studler Tri Plus Fine Liners um, a while ago. I had numbered them for whatever reason. Uh, that doesn't actually matter anymore. There are 36. So that's my magic number is 36. I only had the 24 of the Ergosofts though. Um, so I went 
and bought this nice tin of 36. And then I pulled the 24, so the unused out of here I've saved as backups. Um, so, but I'm, I'm leaving this in the tin. The tin's beautiful. The pencils are beautiful. They work out very well. You can see I really like this purple and this blue um, and this yellow. This yellow. So, but you can see my greens. I really like my greens. Um, it added a few extra colors um, and some pretty necessary colors, I, I have to say. Uh, this green, which is really more of like, um, is it peacock green, emerald green? It's just a nice bluey, turquoisey green. So that right there, nice blue turquoise green. And it, it was a much needed addition uh, to the greens. And then this was a nice addition. It's kind of a, a mid olivey green. Uh, this was a nice addition. It's more of a red or brown. There was a dark gray that got added. Or the, I'm sorry, this is like a sepia brown. That was a nice addition. Super nice. I love my sepias for shadows. Um, instead of like using black or gray, I'll use a sepia in just about every iteration I'll show you. Um, sepia has, has become my go-to for shadows. And then the dark gray, uh, this is a very nice like lilac -y purple. That was a great addition. A deeper red, um, a more pinky red, uh, a couple different, um, I think this was this skin tone? No, the skin tone was from the other one. But like a different, a different orange, a, a little more mid-range orange, a little more uh, like a gamboge yellow. So uh, some really nice additions. I think this blue was a nice addition to you. Um, some nice additions to the 24. Uh, this is the largest that the Ergosofts come in though, is the 36. As far as I'm aware for the US, I can't say anything for any other country. <laughs> But for the U.S., the, the 36. Um, and then I thought, well, sometimes I don't necessarily want markers. I don't necessarily want pencils or fine liners. I want to, like, give that nice watercolory look. Do -do -do. Ergosoft Aquarels. Believe it or not, these are nice. These are very, they're not super pigmented. Um, they are a budget pencil. They are a budget watercolor. Um, however, it melts gorgeously. Um, you don't see too many of the, like, because it is a harder lead, um, you don't see too many of the lines when you go. And I'll, I'll work with these on, on the uh, thingamabob. I have words. Words are good. Uh, the video. <laughs> Woohoo! Um, but again, all 36 colors. It's got it's got all the colors, and so um, you can actually match up the numbers. So like this one is 156 dash 38. I'm really upset that I can't get my focus thingy to work. Um, and then so I'm pretty sure it's this one. Yeah, so this is 157 dash 38. So the 156 is the uh, watercolor and the 157 has the Ergosoft's pencils, but they're both dash 38. So I can match up the pencil to the watercolor. Um, so I can do that, which is super, super awesome. Um, so that is, because I'm a crazy person, that's what I'm doing currently. Um, Another thing, I went ahead and threw jet pens because I have become a uh, a fountain pen addict. That is my current obsession. Um, but jet pens, where I order my fountain pen and my fountain pen ink and all that, had the pack of the new uh, Tombow dual brush markers. Um, it was a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, I think 12. I can count 6. 8, 10, 12. Yes, 12. New 12 pens. And so I didn't have, they weren't obviously in here, so I got two grays. So got like a, a darker warm gray and a bluier cold gray. Got a, a nice new like skinny type color, a coral pink, 
a nice purpley color, deep dark blue, uh, this really nice emerald type green, another turquoisey blue green, this light mint color. Even though I have a mint, I'll have to put these two side by side. I think this one's more blue and this one's more green. And you have this light blue and then this other pretty color and then this other chartreuse -y. It's like between chartreuse and pale yellow. It's, it's, it's a nice color. So I, I bought those for myself. Um, I have not used them yet. I've actually been using my Tombows a lot for my um, bullet journal. So I was going to use some of these blues uh, because I was going to do a uh, ocean theme for July. So that's what I will probably do with those. And then a new book. A new book. And this is, this is from uh, May. Bless her little heart. I was trying to get this. Um, and I was also trying to get the new Hannah Carl's on book, but the shipping from Printworks to the U.S. was astronomical. It was almost as much as the books, and I just couldn't, I couldn't do it. Um, and then, so this doesn't come out until September, September in the U.S., and I was just, I was just biding my time. I was just going to wait. Uh, I actually have to cancel the pre-order I have on Amazon for that. Uh, um, but I was just biding my time, and then this just showed up out of the blue, and it was so sweet. And I've, I got one of May's cute little pictures, and it's so shiny. Do you see that shine? Look at that shine. It's just so cute. I love all of her paintings. She's gotten so good. Um, and a little, this is what I colored um, my uh, glitter for pickle picture in with uh, Lyra's, let me just say, Lyra Polycolors, gorgeous in this book. And then you take a little bit of this blender, this Caran d'Ache blender over the top. Gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. Um, I did a little bit of maize faux glitter on the blue and a little bit of glitter on all of the uh, stamen and everything. But I just adore this. And this is the current work in progress, I'm using Castle Art pencils. Not digging my flowers, but that's more of a me thing because it's not how I pictured in my head, so of course I don't like it. Um, but I will get over that because I have an idea to do... I've seen a couple of colorists do this, and I always think it's gorgeous and amazing, and I don't know if I can pull it off. Um, but behind these flowers, do like an extra faded watercolor look of extra flowers and um, leaves that are faded in the background, kind of fuzzy. Um, so that's kind of what, what I was thinking to do that. We'll see how that works out, whether or not I have the, uh, the gumption to do it. Uh, we'll see. And there's a slight possibility I just abandon this altogether because that's how my mind goes. So that's really all I have gotten recently uh, in months. Like I have not been buying a lot of stuff. Um, I'm pretty happy with what I have currently. Um, I still I still get some Copics every now and then, if especially if um, I have a coupon from Blick, I'll get I'll get some some uh, Copics. But, but really, I've been, I've been working on my, um, my bullet journaling. Um, I'm going to show you just one little spot here without showing you my important dates. But, like, this is what I've been working on. I made these stamps, so they are, I made them, I stamped them out, I cut them out, um, and all that. So I think I think that they turned out really cute. I use about four different Crayola. I use the Crayola markers um, to to ink them up with just the Crayola super tips, and then and then stamp them on. And so that's that's really what I've been working on um, a lot more lately. My bullet journal and getting that all set up. Also, I've been working my rear end off. Um, and school let out, and that was a crazy time. I actually have another um, 
desk it, it's on wheels right next to my desk here so I have this L and now I have like a rolling desk I have a lot of freaking stuff in my office now um that it's I have a laptop that I can work from home during the summer so hopefully I'll be able to like take some time take an hour out and just record a video for you guys randomly throughout the summer I don't know that I'm going to go back to live streaming unless I stop working again um, but currently they keep adding more stuff on me and now I'm I'm somehow in charge of this project that oh I better I better I better check so now I'm in charge of this project and nobody told me I was in charge of this project and <laughs> so that's been fun so um, I have to check on oh thank god Nobody's working this weekend. Sweet. Um, so now I have to check on all that stuff. And I don't know if you can hear that noise. That's my new washer and dryer. Oh, I have so much to tell you guys. So much has gone on. Um, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna work on this page. I'm gonna flip through and see a pretty page. I have not like broken the spine on this yet. I should probably break the spine in a few places. Um, so yeah, so work has been a little hectic. I've, I've been a little stressed out on occasion. Um, it happens. Uh, and then, you know, I'd be, I'd be so stressed out. Oh man, they glued this together poorly. I'd be so stressed out and I would just, I wouldn't have time to come home and color and I wouldn't have time to, I've been playing, um, the Elder Scrolls online so I wouldn't have time to come home and do that. And then I'm just like erg you know we don't have time to do the things you love it really it really gets to you you know i'm sorry i sound kind of manic today i am <laughs> i am uh i had company over the last two weeks have been ridiculous my mom's been staying excuse me i need a drink uh my mom's been staying at company over last night so i had company over while my new washer and dryer were being delivered and my cat likes to get out at any opportunity she can and she knows how to open doors so locking her in a room really wasn't working so yeah that was all sorts of fun yesterday um let's see what page do i want to color i know i've colored this one in a previous one all in ergosoft and it turned out amazing i am not killing myself with that one again um, I kind of want to go further. I think I've I've gone up to I think I've gone up to here. I, I have a work in progress here on the one I'm coloring uh, in order. So let me see. I really think this is adorable. It's super adorable, but this glue, man. I'll tell you what. <sighs> That's okay. You know what? Let me, wait, um, there, I just feel better doing that real quick. Alright, so, this is gorgeous. I watched Laura Rafferty color this for the project that, uh, Johanna did and it was so gorgeous. Oh my gosh, it was so gorgeous. This is a cute page. I watched Coloring Francis color this. This side, I think, I watched her do. This is pretty. Oh, you know what, guys? I think I'm going to do this. I think I think this is it. I'm going to do this side. I have blue. Blue. Nice purple and yellow. Some more blue I think I think this is the one I think this is it this is it guys oh I also bought one other thing but this is kind of like a funny thing I bought a trash can <laughs> this is on my desk and that's where I put all of my pencil shavings is in my trash can I thought it was adorable excuse me blues 
Let's, let's hit the blues. Let's get my... I'm going to pull you guys down since I don't have Zoom. So, bear with me. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. That blurry. Give me two seconds here. I'm going to pause you. All right, it's official. I'm an idiot. So, um, apparently I can't open, <laughs> I can't open the camera settings before I open the program, but if I open the program and then open the camera settings, I'm fine. So, yeah, that's how that goes. That's okay. Let's see. What blue do I want? What blue? Let's, come on lay down for me thank you so let's see really i really dig you know what if i go purple first and then i go into some blues Let's do it. I like it. I'm going to sharpen a few of mine. Give me just a second here. Oh, I'm so, so stoked, guys. So, yeah, I have a new washer and dryer, which is super fun, except for the three months I had to wait for it. Well, two, two, two. I bought it back in early April. Like really early April, like the fifth of April, and we're like, oh yeah, it'll be delivered sometime in May. They'll call you. They called, and we're like, yeah, you know, it's on its, it's on its way. Or we called, and they were like, yeah, it's on its way to the warehouse. Um, let me tell you what I got first. So one five seven dash six. Um, the order I'm going in, 157-63 and 157-30 are the 6, 63, and 30. Um, and they were just like, yeah, you, we got it in, you know, it'll be shipped out to the staging area for delivery. I'm just like, super, this was in May. And then, and then... And then we didn't get our delivery call. So my husband calls. It's like, yo, we were told we were going to get a delivery call today. Uh, what's the what? And they were like, well, it wasn't on the truck. They are like, what do you mean it wasn't on the truck? Well, it was supposed to come off the docks. You know, because it got shipped over from China. So, it was supposed to be on the dock. You know, come off the docks, onto the ship. Off the ship. Out of the container. Onto the truck. And shipped out to the warehouse. And from the warehouse, it was to be shipped out to the local staging area. And from there, they're supposed to call you, right? That's how that works. It never got off the freaking boat. And how in the world? They didn't know that it wasn't off the boat. Or wasn't on the boat when it got shipped from China. Or like how that inventory system worked. I have no idea. Like that's a mystery to me. Also I really like bringing in white. Especially to maintain that highlight. And just kind of do a little blend. Works out perfect. FYI. You know what? I want to also take so the undersides. I have an idea. I have an idea. I'm gonna take this light lilac-y purple. This one five seven dash six two. I'm gonna sharpen it. I have an idea. We'll see if it works. Um, yeah. How they have no idea what what their inventory is and like where it's actually at. I have no idea. And we would call like every. 
So they were like, well, you know, maybe you'll be on the next boat. So now they're not even sure. See, that's how that works. Now they're not even sure it was on the boat to begin with. I don't know. Um, so my idea is I'm going to take the dark purple and just kind of flicky under here. Let's take this lighter purple. So the undersides are going to be purple. Yay! You see, I can't see around this camera. I'm so sorry. I'm going to lift you guys back up. Bear with me a second. That camera is way too close and I'm going to bump it with my head. So what I'm going to do, bear with me, bear with me. I love you guys. Where's my zoom? There it is. Oh, God love it when things work right. I'm going to zoom in just a little bit more. These are small things, you know. Oh, that's as far as it zooms. Okay. Anyway, so. There we go. Cute little. You have to bear with me. My hands are a little stiff. Um, I have to put lotion on them pretty consistently. They're they're peeling and, and all sorts of fun stuff. Uh, due to the, I have dystrophic dermatitis, which is like a form of um, eczema. Uh, but it only affects the hands and but now it's also affecting my elbow and I think my knees are getting it which uh, sure I have no idea why I think it's all the the joints which is I think which it's gonna be so much fun I'm not even 40 yet um cool so if I pause to put some lotion on please forgive me I know you guys will you guys are awesome sauce I have to say with the ergo softs though they are very pigmented um I mean you can't tell from my color but <laughs> they are very pigmented I have to say um Oh, I meant to show you guys the sepia, the sepia, um, shading. I'm so sorry. So, on these flowers, that darker areas, that's sepia shading. Um, and I did it in the centers here, um, and I did it around the, the stuff here. I did it all here. That's all sepia shading. And it works really well, I've found, with more wax-based pencils than, well, I mean, polycolor isn't, is it wax-based? I have no idea. But the softer pencils, um, I've noticed, it, it works a little bit better. Sorry. And I'm debating, I'm actually debating, so for this small area here, where it's kind of dark, just come in with that, where it should be dark. Just come in with a little bit of sepia. My stomach's growling. I hope you can't hear that. Please, please tell me you can't hear that. That's totally not embarrassing. Yeah, so we finally got the washer and dryer, and that is what just went off in the background with its cute little jingle. Um, I was getting so upset, though. I was just like, because now the washer and dryer that, that we currently have in store is double what we paid for it um, originally. 
it's now double that. And they kept saying, like, oh, why don't you just, you know, get a refund and just buy them again later? And it's like, no, man. <laughs> you have jacked the price up. I will not. Let's do a little... a little bit I'm gonna bring you down again I think you guys aren't so close and I'm so sorry to keep moving you please bear with me I'm sorry I just really want you guys to see what I'm doing um So yeah, and if you don't feel like listening to me ramble, you go on and mute me, and I will not take it personally. Not even one bit. I like these Ergo Softs. Um, one, they layer pretty. Two, my hands hurt currently, and pressing hard is doubly painful. And I don't have to. I am pretty much just put my hand pressure and that's enough. I'm going to do a few of these before I move on to the next color. I was watching Emily Illustrator on YouTube yesterday. Um, I was re-watching one of her live streams that she had the other day and she was coloring a world of flowers with Ergosofts and the color combination she had on there was just adorable um, and it just it really goes to show how versatile uh, 36 colors can be and I, I'm doing this experiment for a number of reasons one Joanna Basford herself has said that the Ergosofts were used in making her decision about what paper to put in her books. Um, I don't know if it was inky ivy. I think it, it was a secret garden, like way back. Um, but I, I'm, I'm assuming that is still the case. I can't imagine. Oh, that is wiggly. This has got anti-breakage system and it's it broke in there. That's okay, it's not falling out. Uh-oh, here comes trouble. I heard the bitter patter of little feet. Yeah, so this pencil is actually broken. It's not fallen out yet. It's not to where I can't use it, which is pretty nifty. But yeah, the, uh, nope, now it's getting annoying. There we go. It was broke pretty close, so that's not, this is the first breakage I've ever had in the Ergo Softs. <clears throat> oh, alright, sorry. Um, brief pause in there. I had to feed the kids, feed me, I had to switch over laundry, grab some more laundry. Ah, Alright, I have no idea where I was in my conversation, so let's move over to the blue, the, the 63.
kind of like having this blue tinted or purple tinted blue. I think it gives it a nice oomph of color. Now I'm all full. Hopefully you won't hear my tummy growl. That got ridiculous, by the way. Um, <laughs> I'm sorry if you guys heard that. That was, that was crazy. Yeah, I had my my washer and dryer got delivered yesterday. Oh, I was so happy. I was so happy. The other one, it sounds... When it was on the spin cycle... The washer sounded like it was about ready to take off. It sounded like an airplane. It was terrible. And my poor uncle, I love him to death, but um, he's a tinkerer. He likes fiddling with things. So, like, he fixed, while he was here, he moved my table on my deck out far enough that the uh, umbrella won't hit the house which is fine um, and then he fixed my cabinet door that wasn't closing properly I've been meaning to fix it I just assumed it needed a new um, hinge because it's one of those doors where the kids are always in it so they're always leaning on it um, so I am pretty sure I still need a new hinge for that one but still he, he fixed it to know where it closes properly but you know he's that type of person I was telling them, you know, sorry, you know, you just got here and the delivery guys will be here in like 20 minutes. Um, and so I was telling him how the washer sounded. He was like, well, you know, I'm like, look, I already bought it. <laughs> I already bought it. We're good. <laughs> done deal. Already done. Thanks. Thanks, Mike. Thanks. That's my mom's older brother. One of. She only has eight siblings. It's cool. I love how adding another color just changes just a little bit of the dimension of the colors that are under it. It's a really neat effect these Ergosofts have. Um, and so, great, now I'm going to burp. Excuse me. <sighs> I can't win for losing. Uh, <laughs> uh, Lord have mercy. Anyway. So the Ergosofts, uh, I'm doing this, it's kind of like a two-part challenge for me. One, as I was saying earlier, um, Joanna Basford had mentioned she had Pacific, specifically um, chose the paper that would be best for the Ergosofts, for Stedler products. So I was, I had seen that video and I kept thinking, and I kept thinking, and I'm like, you know really do like the Ergosofts. They're a very good pencil. Um, I'm like, you know, let me just see what I can do with 36 colors, you know? And that is the second part. Like, what can I do with a limited palette? Because we have all these pencils of 120, you know, all these big, big 120, 72, all that. We have all these big pencil sets. And every now and then, I don't know about you guys, but I feel personally a little overwhelmed with all these choices. Oh, and this is the one that broke. Thankfully, it is also one that came in the 24 pack, so I have a backup of this. I just went and resharpened it. It's fine. I, I hear the pitter-patter of little feet. Oh, that's right. I wanted to do the sepia. So 
So I kind of wanted to challenge myself too to a, a, a more limited color selection. So every now and then I, I feel very overwhelmed by the, the number of choices I have as far as colors go. I mean, shoot, Holbein has 150 for crying out loud. Like, no, Miss Marvel. Thank you, Miss Marvel. So sometimes I, f I feel very overwhelmed by the number of choices of colors I have. And I'm just trying to necessarily get back to basics because I mean I've, I, I'm pretty confident I have my basics down um, but more to go further from the basics to take a step out because my basic I wouldn't have put purple and blue together that would not have entered my mind um, it would have been strictly keep it blue. So I don't think I need to go back to basics, but I think I need to expand my coloring, my, my, what am I trying to say? I know you know. I know you understand. You get me. I know. I'm trying to expand how I see pencil combinations. I'm, I struggle with it um, because I am a very, well, I have to stick to the purples or I have to stick to the blues, right? I, I'm good with knowing, well, put in a couple different shades and, you know, shade and, and do all that, but like mixing. And finding out what putting a, uh, a blue on top of a purple will do. Or what adding this color to it will do. And, and finding, that, uh, finding that comfort zone or breaking the comfort zone may be, may be a better analogy. At least for me. My comfort zone. My personal comfort zone. Some of y'all are really good at that, and I admire you, and I don't know how you do it. Like, oh my gosh, Karen, Zucchini Kitty, amazing. So many beautiful combo color combos that I would have never, never have thought of until I saw her do it, and I'm like, oh, that's gorgeous. Of course those go together. Of course that'll look good. What was I thinking? And so I'm trying to break out of that mold I put myself in. You know? We all do it. You know, whether it be coloring is where you break the mold or family life or work or what have you. We all put ourselves in a little compartment of our comfort zone and what we know and what we like and, and, and how we interact with that world around us. And I really want to break that mold, especially coloring wise, because I find that the more... I, I find that the, the coloring can translate to life for me. So being bolder with my color, being more open. Hold on, pitter patter feet. Um, but the more I, I branch out in, in what I do coloring wise and not just branch out, but I, I really get good at it and get comfortable with it. Maybe not necessarily get good at it, but get comfortable with it. Um, the more I do that, the more it actually translates 
to uh, other aspects of my life, to either work or home life. Um, the the determination of figuring out how to do this one thing that you just want to do and it's been bugging and eating and you know whatever and then you do it and then you do it again and it still looks good and you get a little That was my aunt thanking me for uh, dinner last night. She's so sweet. Um, so I just, I just find that as I improve or, or gain more confidence, maybe it's a confidence thing. I don't know. And maybe you don't, you don't relate to this. And I am sorry if you don't. That's okay. It's just me. Uh, but I know some of you out there do. I know you do. Um, not everybody, not everybody relates to everything in the same way and that's okay. But, um, I just, I just like doing that. And so this is also an exercise in that, I think, where I'm, I'm breaking out of the, the mold, my mold, my personal mold, so to speak, and doing something a little bit outside my comfort zone not my norm and uh, I'm excited to see the results so far so good um, I really enjoy using the ergo softs and I like that there aren't so many because if I pause this page I can pretty much come back and know exactly what colors I used And not feel like I have to keep an entire thing full of pencils for umpteen projects that I may or may not get back to. There's also a, a bit of stress relief in that, you know, where you don't have to to feel like you can't pick back up. And, and I hate that feeling because I do I do abandon some sometimes and I know and I feel bad and then I try to go back and I'm like god I don't even know what pencils I was using let alone what colors um, they usually you know once you get to know your pencils you can tell which one's which but like it takes a minute and you're just like oh my gosh and so it's hard to pick it back up and then you get defeated because you're like, oh yeah, I remember why I stopped in the first place because I didn't like how that turned out, which is how I personally end up with so many copies of so many books. Let's go ahead and do this light lilac here. I want to stay away from a lot of yellows in the flowers because I think I want to do a yellowy background, like a sunny yellowy background, yellow orange. I said it, I said it orange may. Ha oh, ha ha ha. Um, now I'm just blending. Not that I need a ton of blending. I'm not going up all the way. It's really just, so I have this theory, not that it could be bunnies, but I have this theory that going over the lighter areas with white, if I go back in behind with pencil, it will protect. Uh, or if I go back in with watercolor, it will protect. I haven't tested it yet. It's a very sound theory. I think it's going to work out just fine. But um, we'll see a little bit later. I think that's what I'll do next. Is uh, I'll finish up this little blue guy. And I'll get the uh, 
I'll get his stems and everything. Maybe we'll do part of the background. At least behind this filigree, which I think, I think this filigree, I may keep it green. We'll see. Maybe greenish blue. I don't know yet. But I'm not going to do it gold. Maybe. Maybe I will. I'm unpredictable. All right. Kitty, kitty, what are you doing? You're making everything shake. Miss Marvel. Now she's sitting on the back of my chair. Why are you sitting there? Oh, kitty, kitty. She's so silly. She's my crazy cat. She's still bonkers. We have a, a little gap in the uh, front glass door. Just a little one. I mean, it's just a little square. It's probably that big. Just Nate, you do not attack my computer. No, ma'am. She saw my hands on there and was going to go for it. Come on. Down, down, down. We're all flying kitty. Thank you. Um, little itty bitty square of an opening, but these lizards keep coming in. And there's one. I swear to God, he's got a death wish. This lizard has been in my house three times. Lost a tail the first time. Lost part of his leg the second time. Third time we caught him. And then I, but I'm just like, what are you doing coming in here? There's cats and they want to eat you. You, he's got a death wish or something. It's crazy. And I know it's the same damn lizard because the lost tail and the lost part of his leg, like he lost like two, a, a finger or two or something on, on his foot. Almost lost the whole leg. Uh, but I think I saved it. But I'm just like, man alive. Quit coming in my house. And the cats go bonkers. Like when they they find them, they were digging in, in behind something. And we're just like, what is going on? We found a hair tie. One of the rubber band hair tie thingies. And one of the cats loves them. So I was like, oh, are they really just going nuts so for that? That seems weird. But I left it because, you know, I was doing something else. You know, um, so we moved the thing to allow cats to, the cats to see that there was nothing there. You know, because we didn't see it. Like, oh, there's nothing there, you know, see? And the next thing we know, here comes Miss Marvel trotting out with a lizard in her mouth. I'm just like, oh my god. And Kaylee, she's such a brave little soul. Um, she rescued the lizard and she held it up. She was like, there are cats that live in this house. You can't come in here. And then put it back outside. Yeah, so we graduated kindergarten. So cute. It was so cute. They did a baby shark song, of course, because oh my god. Can't get enough of that. Um, sorry, what's that? Is that sarcasm? Um, and then Kaylee will move on to the fourth grade next year, and Zoe will be a first grader. 
I'm so excited for them. We're going to Hilton Head this summer. Cause my my husband's aunt has a timeshare there, and she invited us for their birthday week. So we're gonna go there. Cause my kids' birthdays are two days or five days apart. So we kind of celebrate them together. So much easier. They're now at the age that they don't like that, and, and I'm at the age where I don't care that they don't like that. <laughs> you know. I think that came out pretty. Let's see. And then... Oh, I'm such a... I'm not, I'm not going to do the greens. I'm going to go into the yellow uh, aquarelles. And I'm going to, let's see. Where's my test paper? So this is the number 11. Kind of this gamboji orange color. Let's see what. Did not think this through. So that's really pretty. Nice orangey yellow. And then uh, I, want, I want a paler, paler yellow. So number 10. Oh, that's very pretty. Yeah, I think that's what I'll do. I think that's what we'll do. We'll do those two. So, I'm going to sharpen. Heather from Bunny Designs would kill me for... All that beautiful wasted watercolor pencil. That's okay. So, I'm gonna go in, kind of do just like out of the corners, have the darker. My, I am so out of screen, I'm so sorry. So out of the corners have this darker Cambogi, called a bougie. It's just called a bougie yellow, it's cool. And then come in with the paler yellow. I'm actually gonna leave a little bit of a whitish area. So let's see how that works. I'm testing. Make sure I don't have. I always test my. And that's way too wet. I always test it on me. You can always tell how much is on there. I don't know if you can see. That should be good. I like that. I like that a lot. Cool. All right. Maybe I'll do the orangey yellow background back here. Yes. Oh, I've got to sneeze. Hey, pew. Excuse me. My kids are on a Pringles kick. So 
Sorry, I'm concentrating at the moment. And if I need to, I can go back in with the pencils and, and really hit that. You can see it just kind of melts in there. It's very nice. It's very nice. Um, the paper does change a texture, however, when putting on this, I'm just going to kind of, when putting water on the page, it's very weird. How it does that. I like that. Very cute. So I'm just going to kind of leave like that. I'll go back in with pencil in, in places like that. I, I don't know if you can notice, but I tend to concentrate a little bit more when I watercolor. <laughs> Just a little bit. Oh, I'm going to have to blow my nose. Be right back. Oh, sorry about that. I had to blow my nose. Didn't want you to listen in. When I go over like that, that's me touching the, uh, the thing. I'll, I'll put it up. When I go up, we'll do that. So I could... Hmm. I could come down with the orange. I'm just thinking of how to do this. These these pencils are slightly softer than the um, than the not watercolor ones. really like them. Oh, I'm so pleased. I like it when a plan comes together. Makes it feel like a million bucks. I'm so pleased. So that's dry. Let me let me go in. I think I'm actually gonna take one of the darker oranges. Let me just let me just think this out here. Let me see what this color actually is. I have not swatched 
the full thing. So let's see, this is number 42. The next two, oh, that's a really dark. That's super dark. So next to that, it's a little, a little darker, but let me just, let me just, let me just. I just want to oomph up those darker spots. You know what I mean? I don't know if you can see that. This may, this may only be something I can see. That contrast in color. Maybe it's not dark enough. Maybe. <sighs> Gotta sharpen everything. We think it's a little bit, it's a little bit. Hmm. And then this is the nice yellow. At this point, I'm wondering what the point of watercoloring is if I'm just going to put on three different colors. Let me just, let me just fiddle. Let's see. I'm going to finish watercoloring this because I actually enjoy it. So. Just thinking here. Just thinking. very confused. I could leave it as is. I mean, that's always an option, too. But I do like, I do like the extra oomph of some darker orange in there. just it adds just a touch more and I like it but do I like it enough I mean I must if I'm, I'm continually to do it but and then do I take my sepia and do I do that 
Do we do a hint of a shadow? No, I don't think I do. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's okay. Everything's okay. Everything is awesome. I'm torn now, guys. I'm torn. I'll start seeing that uh, Natalie and um, really our song. I'm going to pause on the watercolor because I really am not sure what I want to do there. You go that way. You go that way. I'll go. I'm going to do this other blue guy. I've got the blues. got the purples. got the love. So let's, let's go on and do this one. This one we're going to do a little bit different. If you can notice, whereas the other one, it only had the shadow lines or whatever going this way. Now they're going that way too. So I think what I'm going to do is come up both ways. What do I think I'm going to do? I like how you can have a very light hand with ergo sauce without having to feel like you're straining yourself to lift up off the page. It just it just happens so nicely. All of my uh, appliances now sing to me. I have all the LG appliances, so they all sing the same song. Because <laughs> that's the same song my dishwasher sings when it's done. Oh my goodness, okay. I may be calling it quits here soon, guys. I'm starting to hurt my hip yesterday cleaning like really bad to the point I couldn't walk I can walk today but I keep I can't explain it it's, it's like I'm stepping wrong Ooh, I didn't want to do that on there shame on you Melissa um it's like stepping wrong right you just put your weight in just the wrong place and then it just goes out and it's in pain again and uh, sitting doesn't help but I can't walk because I keep hitting the wrong spot it's a vicious cycle uh, I took medicine yesterday I haven't taken any medicine today because uh, I was hoping it was feeling better but I can already feel it is not I'm hoping I can continue to go up this down the stairs long enough to finish my bedding I haven't washed my bedding in a while I know it's a very bad thing I'm very sorry I've changed my sheets and just haven't washed the uh, I haven't washed the, the comforter and whatnot um, I haven't washed the, the heavy stuff in a while because my other washer and dryer could not handle it so I'm currently doing that and I'm super excited because yay fresh sheets and everything 
and fresh bedding and comforter and, and all that fun stuff. But, um, I'm hoping I can continue to walk up and down the stairs long enough to finish that. I just wish I knew what was wrong with my hip. I had that steroid injection. I'm going to have to take a drink. Excuse me. So I had a steroid injection. I had a terrible reaction to that. I have a terrible reaction to steroids in general. Um, so that was not actually a surprise to me. It was a surprise to my doctors. I'm like, yeah, that's just how that goes. Um, so I was hoping that would like fix it or make it better and it didn't. I mean, I, I'm not in pain for the week or two that it used to happen. I, there was a month where I could barely walk. It's only a day or two. I just have to kind of take it easy and be extremely careful how I walk and how I place my legs when I walk. And sometimes I forget and my body is like, hey, you forgot. I cripple you for a minute. So now it's only a day or two, but it's every time I like hardcore go at something like I spent an hour vacuuming and mopping and doing all of that. And that's the action that kills me is the vacuuming and, and mopping and going back and forth. And that's always, 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 always what does it without fail. And my mom's just like, oh my god, what's wrong with you? I'm like, this has been wrong. <laughs> like, since I had Zoe, this has been what's wrong with me. I guess she just hadn't seen me on a very bad day. And yesterday was a very bad day. And I had company over, so that was awesome. But so this is my, I need to relax and let my hip rest day on Father's Day because woohoo, right? My husband's very good though. I try not to make it a big deal. Cause you know, everybody, everybody hurts and everybody has, you know, bad days and I try not to let him see too too much how how bad it is, but he knows. You know, we had had a talk with it about it um, before I got the steroid shot, and I was like, "Look, I physically cannot walk. I can't go up and down the stairs. I can't carry my child. I can't do laundry. I can't do the things. I can't. I couldn't even stand." at the sink and do dishes and once that started happening I don't know why the dishes were the tipping point but once that happened I was just like no oh, something's gotta give but again I'm I'm not even 40 and my mom's like what happens if you need your hip replaced well then my I need my hip replaced I I mean, I, I don't know what that question was supposed to ask, but then, then I need it replaced. I don't, I don't understand the question. Do what you gotta do, right? Let's see, light purple, just here, Melissa, not everywhere else, just here. Don't go crazy. Thank you. I 
I have never been under anesthetic though, so that part would freak me out. I mean, heck, Kaylee's been under anesthetic for her um, tubes in her ears. Zoe's never been though. I hope everybody, all the guys are having a, all the dads are having a, a happy Father's Day. I hope all you ladies are, are having a good day too. And if you're not watching this on Father's Day, I hope you're having a good day. I hope. Everybody's having a good day. Everybody needs a good day. The color seems off. Why did I not notice that before? There we go. That's about true color about that guys I've not been giving you guys true color here's the true color of the oranges and yellows I don't know why I didn't notice that I'm a terrible 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 person I have been working, now that I have a, a laptop to work from home during the summer, I've been working more than I was. But I've been, I've been using coloring as sort of my brain break kind of thing, where I just, I have to look away from the, the computer screen. Because it can get, it can get really intense, you know, and your eyes strain and and all that. And you, when I was at the office, I would just like turn and talk to somebody, you know, to relieve that eye strain. And, and at home, I don't have that option. I mean, I, I'll get up and, and walk around and, you know, make a snack or go to the bathroom or whatever. But if like I need 10 minutes to just chill my eyes, I'll, I'll grab a a coloring book and and I'll just color for 10 minutes just to ease my eyes because holy moly man let me tell you it can get a bit much I think I forgot to do the white I did. I don't know why it doesn't appear to be making much of a difference, but it makes me feel better. So, you know, that counts, right? Those rituals we do that don't necessarily do anything at all, but make us feel better. That's what that reminds me of. Every day I, I have a certain order, I take things off like the, the hair clip and glasses and take my ring off because otherwise that happens worse at night. Um, so I take my ring off at night and you know, get my bed ready, set up. what I'm going to listen to. I've been, I've been binging on the sleep with me podcast, which has been really helpful. Uh, I, I use the stitcher app on my phone. It's been really, really helpful. I think I have slept or not necessarily I've slept better. Um, but I have fallen asleep faster 
with that than I, I have with any other aid like music or TV or anything like that that podcast man he just drones and drones and it's this it's not quite monotone but it's just enough that I don't have to listen he calls it soothy, soothing, creaky, dulcet tones. I don't know about dulcet, but so I've been doing that uh, there for a while. I was listening to a ton of podcasts, so many, all the podcasts, all the time. I like uh, you guys. I'm sure there's some murderinos in here, but I I have foregone my favorite murder uh, for uh, the Murder Squad. I prefer that format. I love the I love the ladies, but sometimes I don't want a, a joke with my murder or my crime podcast, and so. I've been listening to Morbid, and I've been listening to Crime Junkie. Um, I've also been outlining a new book for NaNoWriMo in November. Um, I've been journaling on a daily basis, or mostly daily basis. Just writing down my thoughts with my fountain pens, because I bought fountain pens, and, you know, you have to use them. Um... So I've been doing a whole bunch of that stuff. I did buy a dream journal. And I had this really freaky dream. Not like bad or anything. It was just weird. Um, and the dream journal was too spot on. And that kind of freaked me out. <laughs> and I haven't done it since. Because I was just like. Maybe I don't actually want to know what my dreams mean. Because it was way spot on. I was just like. Yeah that's. that's I don't think I want to know. I mean, I thought I wanted to know, but I don't think I want to know. You know? So, podcast-wise, do any of you listen to podcasts? Do any of you have a favorite podcast you would like to share? I'm more than willing to listen to just about anything. I tend to stick to science, politics, and crime. Um, but I am more than willing to listen to just about anything. Oh, I listened to this really good one called Running From the Cops. Or Running From Cops, which was about the cops show. I know you remember what the cops show was all about. Um, and it was so interesting. Um... And then Bill Nye's got a show uh, called uh, Science Rules. And then I listen to Star Talk with Neil deGrasse Tyson, which has been, some Some of them have been interesting. Some have been kind of like, yeah, that was a stretch. Um, and, and podcasts are hit and miss. You know, sometimes they have a really good, um, really good premise and a really good show and everything just works and the chemistry's there and then sometimes you're like whoa that was terrible that was really bad um take the good with the bad i guess oh this uh podcast behind the bastards which is kind of like a crime show um kind of not and then there is this uh podcast moder uh, Monsters and Murderers uh, out of uh, Australia and that's really interesting they did like a Manson show one of the one of the people on the podcast is actually in touch with a lot of these um, serial killers and it, it's 
really interesting and she'll give snippets of like the letters they send her and conversations she's had with them and everything and it's really interesting and now and now you know a little bit about me let's see let's put these purples and blues away I'm gonna keep out my sepia you away, put you away, put you away, put you away. I get some greens. Um, I don't think I want to do olive green for this one. I think I want it just to be kind of a traditional green. Um, I am going to use my, my sepia, the 771577. Um, but then I think, I do think I kind of want to use... start here hmm I think I'll put you back gonna put you back I'm going to grab you so a little bit like that oh, I don't think I like the yellow maybe I'll go back to the green idea. Let's see how this one works. That's your typical or I think I like this one and it's a weird it's a weird combo but I'm 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 going for it right go so uh, 15738 15752 15730 I'll give you a little preview here and then I think I will sign off and say see you next time because that's how that goes sometimes I can't stay forever, even if I want to. I've got other stuff to do. But it was nice to pop on with you guys. I enjoy that part. So I'm gonna go ahead and sharpen this yellow green just in case I need it. Maybe I won't need it. Maybe I will need it. Who knows? All right. Trash can. It amuses me. I'm like, look, I got a trash can. It was super funny when I bought it. I was just like, what is that? It's like, hello, it's a trash can. <laughs> yeah. I'm not going to be too fancy with anything. I'm just kind of... Gonna go with the flow, you know, go with the flow. What do we think? Does it need a bit of the yellowy green to really green it up? Maybe. Let's get that sepia in there. Try another one.
I kind of like the blue tip, so I'm going to leave the, uh, the green out. I like the bluer color. That's what I think I'm going to do. And then I think it kind of like ties in because it's the same light blue I used here. So it ties it all in nicely, I think. And it matches the bluer tone of the darkest color. And brings that out too. That's my justification. I'm sticking to it. All right, guys. Let me zoom out. There we go. So this is the page I will be working on um, for until I decide not to work on it anymore. But hopefully I will be, be back on a, maybe not a regular basis, but more often than I have been in the past. And uh, I, will, I will try to finish this with you guys um, on, on, a, on a video. Um, I, I, I will do this without you guys, I'm sorry. But feel free to um, follow me on Instagram. I'll have the link down below. I will also link all of these products down below. They are affiliate links. Um, I'm going to remove my uh, wish list because, well, I'm, I've not been, sorry, there is something over here and it is bugging the absolute crap out of me. It's just, I got a really messed up version of this but that's okay I'll fix it it'll be fine nobody will know okay um I'm removing my wish list I don't have a whole lot of like I've got everything I want for coloring there's no there's no need there's not a whole lot I'm like stalking out so you guys can know what I'm stalking because I'm not stalking anything anymore and what's on there is is old and I don't want it and I'm not I'm not gonna buy it so um, and then I think that's it don't forget to, to like subscribe thumbs up thumbs down I don't care doesn't matter to me um, but I hope to see you guys soon and thank you for hanging with me and thank you for being patient with all of my pauses that you weren't actually aware of um, and I will see you guys in the, uh, the next video. Bye-bye.